everybody, and welcome to another edition of Inside Guns with your host, me, the Yankee Marshall. As many of you probably already know if you watch my channel, we are facing a new magazine limit law here in the state of Washington. It's a bill right now. They're trying to pass it, and if passed, it will limit all magazines to 10 rounds or less. You cannot have a magazine, no matter whether it's typical for that gun, you know, standard for that gun, you just can't have it if it's got more than 10 rounds. Meaning most guns wouldn't be able to be sold with the magazines they come with. Because of this, people have been asking me, uh, what would be the best gun to go to if you could only have 10 rounds at most in a magazine? So I thought tonight I would do a little video and I would talk about what I think would be the top five guns to carry if you live in a, in a state that restricts your magazine capacity to 10 rounds or less. Now, before I get started here, I want to say a few things up front. First off, I am not going to be including the new 10 millimeter pistols, the new Springfield Armory, and the new uh, Smith & Wessons, the M&P, because I've never had any experience with them. I wouldn't want to recommend them, and then they'd be garbage. I don't think they're going to be garbage based on the reputation of the manufacturers, but since I have no experience with them, they can't be on my list of best guns. That's just the way it is. I'm not trying to insult anyone's choice of guns or feeling like, uh, uh, don't feel like I'm leaving them out. I just, they're an unknown quantity to me right now. The other thing I want to say is I'm not going to include crazy guns like a 500 Magnum or a 50 AE Desert Eagle, guns that I just don't think people could carry. Uh, like the same reason I'm not going to mention the 2011 uh, RIA 10 millimeter because it's too big and won't be the point of getting that double stack uh, 2011 if you can't put more than 10 rounds in it. Some people are going to know are going to ask me why isn't it on the list. But there's going to be no crazy guns like 460s, uh, 500 A, uh, Magnums or 50 AEs, none of that stuff. Also, the guns I choose are what I think are the best guns. That doesn't mean it's the best gun for you. You know, I can say a Ferrari is a better car than a Honda or a Kia. That doesn't mean you should be driving a, Fio a Ferrari. You might get yourself killed. It might be more car than you could handle. Same thing with any of these guns. When I say they're the best overall guns, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're best for the three Gs, you know. The geriatrics, the gimps, and the little girls. So if you fall into one of those categories, these guns might not be good for you. But they're what I think are the top five guns. So let's go ahead and get started here with the list, and let's talk about what gun I think is number five on this list. The gun that I'm putting at number five is a gun that has seven rounds of 357 Magnum. You don't even have to worry about a magazine. It is the Smith & Wesson 586 L Comp. It's basically a 586 plus. It's seven rounds. It's got a compensated barrel. You could also substitute pretty much any 686 plus here also if you wanted to. But the one I really prefer is the 586 L Comp. If you're going to be limited in your rounds, why limit it to a lesser caliber? Why not go with something that's probably one of the most effective, proven calibers out there? 357 Magnum. And you might not be getting 10 of them in this gun, but you're getting 7, and 7 357 is better than most any number of like 9mm or 40 that you're going to get in a handgun. So that's my number 5 gun on the list, the Smith & Wesson 586 L Comp. All right, number four on the list is a gun that you can pretty much replace with pretty much any gun that's very similar. It's a 10 millimeter 1911, but the one I'm gonna choose is the Kimber Camp Guard because it is one of my favorite 10 millimeters. One of the most beautiful 10 millimeters I think you can buy production without going custom. So the Kimber 10 millimeter Camp Guard 1911 I think would be a great option if you live in a state that has limited magazine capacity because 1911s aren't known for their capacity, but in this gun you can get, depending on which magazine you buy for it, 8 plus 1 for 9 rounds, 9 plus 1 for 10, or even 10 plus 1 for 11 rounds of 10 millimeter. If you're going to have a semi-auto, 
Might as well be 10 millimeter because that's pretty much the best semi-automatic round. And if you're going to be carrying it, it should be in one of the best shooting guns you could possibly buy, which would be a 1911. And in my opinion, one of the best ones in this category is the Kimber Camp Guard 10. And that's why it's number four on this list. All right, at number three, we have the gun with actually the lowest capacity of any gun on the list. It's only got six rounds, but it's six rounds of 44 Magnum. And I know what you're saying, well, that gun's not gonna be easy to carry. Well, in this case it will be because it is the scandium framed titanium cylindered Smith & Wesson 329 PD. This gun was designed for carry. It is lightweight. It is really well balanced. It is just a great gun. It's a little bit heavy on the recoil because it is so light, but that's the price you pay when you get a gun that's easy to carry. And this gun is excellent when it comes to carry. I'm carrying one right now as I'm talking to you. It's what I carry every day. I love this gun as a carry gun. So of course it's gonna be on this list. And like I say, it's the lowest capacity, just six rounds, but six rounds of 44 Magnum and a couple more speed strips in your pocket 18 rounds of 44 Magnum, what situation is that not going to get you out of? So at the list, uh, on num at number three on the list is my everyday carry gun, the Smith & Wesson 329 PD 44 Magnum. All right, now at number two, we are getting to a gun here that is a perfect gun in a lot of ways because it is in what I said was the perfect caliber for capacity limited uh, semi-autos, 10 millimeter, and the magazine it comes with is 10 rounds. So it's set up perfectly for that 10 plus one uh, 10 millimeter carry. And this gun is a gun that I have owned several times and sold each time I buy it, but then I still want it back and buy it again, the Glock 29. This is a 10 plus one round 10 millimeter semi-automatic Glock. It's also, more on the compact side, easy to carry. And you don't have to do anything to it for it to be a reliable, easy to use, easy to carry gun that still packs a lot of power. Now it can be a little abusive to shoot it and some of the magazines can be a little picky till you get them worn in. But once you've got it functioning right, it's an excellent gun. Like I say, I've bought it several times. It's the perfect combination, semi-automatic, 10 plus one rounds, 10 millimeter, easy to carry package, simple gun with a simple manual of arms. And that's why number two on this list is the Glock 29. All right, at number one on the list, it's not quite 10 rounds, but it's eight rounds of 357 Magnum. Now you might be thinking that's gonna be a heavy gun also, but once again, no, thanks to a scandium frame and a titanium cylinder, it is a very lightweight, easy to carry gun, plus it has a little two inch barrel. And it is the Smith & Wesson 327 PC. This is an eight round 357 Magnum revolver. Once again, you don't gotta worry about magazines at all. Just carry another couple of speed strips, which are much easier to put in your pocket than magazines. And you've got, just with two extra speed strips, a 24 rounds of 357 Magnum in a very lightweight, easy to carry, easy to shoot gun. You might think it'd be really abusive being 357 Magnum and very lightweight and small, but it ain't that small. It's got a full size grip on it, really helps you control the gun, really helps you manage the recoil. It's a gun that I have and a gun I love for carry. I had to quit carrying it a while back because my wrists were bothering me before I sought treatment for my arthritis, uh, but now I could handle it again because I'm feeling a lot better than I used to. And I think it's probably the perfect carry gun for states that restrict how many rounds you can have. Because I can't think of anything really uh, in that 10 rounds or less category that's a realistic carry gun that would beat eight rounds of 357 Magnum. And that's why the number one gun on this list is the Smith & Wesson 327 PC. All right, everybody, I have gone over again, surprise, surprise. If I mentioned a gun that you actually carry and you live in a restricted state, please let us know that in the comment section below. Also in the comment section below, let us know if you do live in a restrictive state and you carry a gun I didn't mention. I'm sure a lot of people would love to hear what you carry and why if you live in those circumstances. So that's it for me today. I just wanna say thanks everyone for coming. I hope you come back again tomorrow. Until then, I just wanna remind everyone to always carry and stay safe until I see you again.